Dawn and I this art. This is the channel where I do art. I have two other channels where I do not do art. Although, just go to the gaming channel. The third one isn't important right now. Anyway, <laughs> this video is different. Although, my last video was definitely like prologue to this. I posted on Webtoon in my website that Nine Lives, the webcomic that I've been working on for three years, is going to be taking an indefinite hiatus. And I wanted to take this time to talk about why. Mostly to give anyone who was interested in closure. Um, have, having some closure. Um, for one, the reason why I don't want to do it anymore is because I hate it, it's bad, and I don't like the story, and... Well, correction. I like the story. I like the main story structure, I like the main plot. I like all of that, and I like the characters that I have made. However, my writing choices three years ago and since have been less than ideal. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna go into depth a little later, but there are a lot of um, empty plot lines. There are a lot of things that are not explained when they should have been. There's a lot of stuff that's just kind of very vague that's not like making sense. And then there's other stuff that's like completely just like told to, told to you exactly. Like there's no build up or anything to it. And I don't like that and I hate it. And I was initially just going to take a pause and rewrite everything after where I have finished. However, I'm not going to do that to myself. Instead, I'm just going to break it all down and start from scratch. And I have even started a full outline already, and it is going to be much shorter. The original plot of Nine Lives um, took over the time of six seasons, with about 100 scenes each. And each and the whole se six seasons took the, over like the course of about four to five months um a little bit longer if you count the first uh like two month time skip from the 25th scene to i think it's the 30th scene um that is no longer a thing there is no gigantic time skip i don't know why i put that there it's stupid it doesn't really have any purpose especially since they don't really do anything during the time skip it's just kind of there and yeah i've rewritten a lot of plot points that you haven't even gotten to see yet um and some of the plot points that you have gotten to see yet or at least the starts start of it and the seeds of it um yeah so let's talk about some of the flaws. So for one, uh, Val is trans, and I decided that about four seasons into writing it. And so there is nothing throughout the entire series that mentions it until I th until season four. Um, when I believe it's that there's a non-binary character, their name is Kai, and they are important to the story, I'm going to keep them. Um, and... Chris, being an old man, um, accidentally misgenders Kai, and they talk about being trans, and Teddy brings up that Val is trans, and Val t tells Chris for the first time that he's trans, and it's four seasons in that it's confirmed within the text that he is trans, and I hate it that it's that late. There's also a lot of other plot points with Val that are like really open-ended. Like he has this plot with his mom where his mother is a drug addict and she left him when she was when he was little. Um, and then she comes back during the story. However, there's like this big gap where we see nothing of that um, until it like gets to the worst. And then we see a little bit of it before she leaves and then it's over. And then it's just out. It's just not a point anymore. Um, and it's only used as a plot point to move on another character's story arc because he's a panic attack during that scene. And it's not Val, I'm not gonna talk about them um, because he is important and I love him, he's my baby. Um, but there's nothing 
really in between those, it's like the build up and then the climax and there's nothing in the middle. There's just like the introduction and a little bit of like build up like, oh, maybe she'll go back to it, but then nothing else. And then it just goes off. Oh yeah, she's a drug addict and then she leaves and that's all. And I hate that. It's bad. It's bad writing and I'm stupid and I was fucking 14, fifth, I, I was 15. I think I, yeah, I was 15. I was 15 and I was writing by the seat of my pants and I hate it and I will never do that again. And um, I have a lot more experience writing now. I have written a lot more and I have started planning things more and I love it now. I hated it before, but now I'm thinking myself so much for planning things when I do. Um, like uh, I outlined most of an entire comic. Uh, I d I've, I've outlined about five comic projects and I do plan to turn them into um, into actual scripts and it's gonna help me a lot with other projects that I haven't finished yet like Angel the Demons I'm going to be scripting that later so that I can finally do that project because I really do want to there is a little bit of a prologue that I'm gonna put out first but I really want to do that project and it is definitely gonna be on, pro on my priority list But other than that, um, Thea herself has this character arc that is the most vague thing I have ever written in my entire life. Um, basically, the whole gist of it is that Thea hates her dad, and you never actually find out why in the actual text of the comic. Um, we see a couple lines like how she hates her stepmother. Well, ho hold on. She hates her mother, and then she hates her brother, and she says that he's not my brother. And you never learn! No one ever actually says that it's her stepmother and her, bro and her stepbrother that she doesn't like. And it's never said throughout the entire comic, and it's never said outright. It's all just these ba vague character lines. And it's nothing that's actually said out loud. And it's like, how is anybody supposed to understand why she hates her dad if I never explain it? I didn't explain it ever. And I left it to the too. Like, I didn't have any plan for closing it out, like making them make up or anything. There is nothing in there where they make up. Um, there is a little bit because her dad gets more involved because he's the police uh, sh he's the sheriff of the police department so he's a very big part of the story but they're just fighting the entire time um there's even one section where they're all like playing these mind games i hate these mind games things i'm gonna get them out of there anyway because it's just like um during these things des desmond and another character cammy would just play with them it's just a game. In, th in this particular scene, it's a distraction to get May, another one of the spirits, to go attack Chris, who's not there yet, um, uh, and do some stuff with him. But this one, it, but all of these little little things, all these psychological torture scenes, are just here for character development, and they're bad because they're all forced. And then even there, they're all forced, but they're never elaborated on. Like in this one. Um, um, Cammy, I think, asks one of the characters why Thea hates her dad. And her dad is like, what? I didn't know you hate me. And Thea's like, mm -hmm. being all emo and, you know, soon today ask or whatever you fuck you want, you just want to call her. And she never, n neither of them ever bring it up ever again. And not only that, but you never actually get the answer because the character who is asked whispers it into Cammy's ear, and Cammy doesn't say the answer out loud. So we never actually know why Thea hates her dad. There is zero explanation for this, and I hate it and I want to kill myself. <laughs> okay, let's not go that far. But I don't like it. It's bad. It's really bad writing it and it makes no sense. Both Val and Chris's char and Thea's character acts make no sense. That is to say that 
Sia doesn't have a character arc. It's just vague lines. It's just vague character lines. Nothing else happens. Um, at least Val, like, there's technically an ending to it, but it's a real big cop-out. And it's really bad writing. And if I were to pursue this to the end, even if I did all these rewrites, I would not be happy with it, because it w it's just so messed up from the beginning. Um, and... One, one thing is that um, I made a lot of characters, and I put them in, in like the beginning of season two. Um, like, Crit Teddy has his own little care, own little group of friends. Val has one of his best friends, whose who's only like character thing is that he's been friends with him since before he transitioned. And Thea has um, a few friends from her karate dojo because she's a karate person. She, she, she does karate. Um, and we have those characters, and the only characters who actually become important are Thea's, Thea's friends. And you know why? It's because I didn't think about it until lot, until after I had already introduced all of them, and so I was kind of just like putting them into scenes to play with them, see if I liked these characters, and then I would trash them if I didn't. Like, um, during season four, um, there's a section where Chris and all of them end up going to school for a few days before not going to school anymore. It's useless, it's pointless. Um, it's only there for Teddy to get jealous when Chris makes his own friends. And these friends are seen for one other scene after this, and then they disappear. They're gone. They're gone forever. Um, their only purpose is to make Teddy jealous. And they're a group of girls, and so it's even worse, because it's like, oh, do you, do you like those girls? And it's like, the fuck do you mean? No, you just met them. They're just there for no reason. And there's a lot of that throughout the entire series. And I only wrote Thea's friends properly. And I didn't even write Thea properly. I put more effort into writing her partner and her friends more than her. <laughs> I hate it. It's so bad. Um... I do like Ren though, Ren is Val's friend, and there is one thing, um, there's a scene, when we meet him, we meet, we meet Ren in the beginning of season two, um, Chris is dead at this point, and the kids are mourning, and thinking about how to, like, figure out how to fix this without Chris, all that or have to, because Chris comes back to life later on, um, but, um, Ren has the scene with Val where they're talking about his mom and stuff and Jaylee, who is Val's girlfriend, who I have, I have nixed. I'm, I'm gone. I love Jaylee, but she serves no purpose, really. She doesn't really serve a purpose other than being Val's girlfriend. She is smart, and she does a couple exposition things, um, and she, like, does research into, into, um, Chris's family because they didn't because the town didn't want to put any effort into actually looking into what happened because they were like oh my god it's cursed but like realistically that wouldn't have happened um and realistically she's not point um but at this point um Ren decides that this is the perfect time to come out to Val and he says I'm gay by the way and Val's like I know <laughs> I know and it's never brought up again and that's all that's all we just know that Ren is gay Ren is gay, and he is very unimportant character. Um, he comes up in a few of the scenes where, um, after season three, after season three, where it's exposed, where a bunch of the characters, including Ren and those girls, go into the woods to fight creatures with the gang. Um, and that's it. That's all. Um, that's all his purpose was. He's just there to be Val's friend and say that he is gay. Gay best friend trope, I guess? I don't know what I was doing. Um, I hate it. Um, there's also Kai, who I came up with because I came out with non binary. Um, very introduced mid season two. I love Kai. I came up with Kai because I was doing a just messing around in pit crew. And I made this character and I was like, this is so cute. And I was like, I'll put it in the nine lives. And I love them and they're adorable. Um, they have no purpose. They have no purpose other than to be, um, Thea's partner, um, and flirt with them, and be a bit of, like, motivational person. Also, Kai is also here to set up some vague shit for another comic called Horrorville, because Kai 
um, finds out about all the creatures, and I think, like, mid, um, early season three. And she's like, and they're like, um, she's like, I'm sorry, I'll explain this all later. And she's like, and, and she's like, I'll explain it. And then Ty is like, no, I don't care. It's fine, I've seen worse. And she's like, what do you mean you've seen worse? I lived in Washington. That's a setup line. Her mention, them mentioning that they lived in Washington, moved here from Washington, and have seen some shit is a tie-in to another comic and that is the only other purpose that they serve is to be a tie-in i'm not mad about the end being a tie tie-in like there are a couple other tie-ins like how um i have the plan she said a bunch of stuff for austin and darren because they're gonna have their own little spin-off um this um nine lives takes place in a very big universe with a bunch of different comics in it um, including one that I'm working on. Like, right now, I'm working on the script, and I'm gonna work on all the character designs pretty soon, and it might take you guys along the journey with that one. But, um, there's some tie-ins to that. Like, there's some lines with Lucifer, because Lucifer is a character that you see in Nine Lives, and Lucifer is going back to that comic as well. And so there's some tie-in there. And, um, so tie-ins are not bad. I like some of the tie-ins. However, this one is very forced because it is their entire character. They don't really have anything else to do. They don't have any other purpose. They're good at karate. That's about it. They serve as a motivator for for Thea. Um, that's all. And they, um, I believe, at one point they push Thea to like, um, like come back together with her dad and be nice to him. And that's it. Um, I has no purpose. And I feel like it's a crime to me as a non-binary person that I just completely shafted Kai. Kai is just there for character development and is not a character in themselves. And they are just there to be the cool non-binary character who tell- Kai is a manic pixie dream girl. That's what they are. A manic pixie dream them. Um, they even have blue hair. <laughs> A manic pixie dream them with blue hair and pronouns. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change Kaya's design. I love it. It's adorable. She They've got like band-aids on their on like all their skin because they used to go into the woods back in Washington and they go into the woods now because they just kinda like to play around. Um, but that's it. Um that's all they are. That's all they are. Um, however, there is one thing that I would like to talk about else, and it's the length. Nine lives is fucking long. Um, for one, as I mentioned before, it's six seasons long. Um, with about a hundred, some more scenes long, and each scene, I'm gonna say, is an average of seven to eight pages. That's about 750 pages each scene. No. Yes. 750 pages each season. That's like four thousand and two hundred pages in total that's a lot that's a lot and let me tell you how much i have finished um luckily i did these calculations a long time ago because i wanted to break it in but the volumes so volume one um would have trapped from season what from scene one to scene 25 that is uh and also some extras and stuff it has a hundred and three pages um and then six pages if six extra pages if you count the extras and specials um and uh volume two has is 26 to 47 and it has 121 pages that is all scene pages 121 and then the final volume uh well that but it's not even a complete volume because the volume wasn't even finished yet. It would have been a few more seats in.
basically 48 to what is current, which is 61. And I believe that the actual um, volume would have ended around the 70s because there's a big event that happened so that I would have wanted to cut off this, the volume with because I wanted to keep the volumes pretty small. From uh, scene 48 to what I have finished now, scene, 20, scene 61, is 100 pages exactly. Like, legit, exactly, 100, 100 pages exactly, which I think is really funny. Um, but, that all together, 103 pages, plus 121 pages, plus 100 pages, is, <laughs> is 324 pages. All completed. And all for nothing. Fuck, guys. Um, ah, <laughs> three hundred twenty-four pages. Um, yeah, three hundred twenty-four pages. I originally like put it in the next assessment. Like, oh, if it's like five, um, f each see each scene, um, for like sixty-one pages, then that's three hundred and five. And then if it's about like seven, it's about four hundred twenty-seven. It's about um about five and a half pages per scene. Uh, as an average, so it's 324. Got estimations good. But that's a damn long amount of pages. Um, although I am surprised. That's about 100 pages a year. Um, that's about 100 pages a year. Um, which is interesting. Actually, makes sense because I think I made all of those volumes in roughly a year. Like, each of them took one year. Like, an actual time frame. Um, but that is 300, that is 100 pages in a year. And that is 324 pages in three years. And we are actually coming up on the anniversary as well. The anniversary is in August. That is when I first started posting the pages. Um, the first scene one came out in August. I don't remember which day. I don't remember. Um, I think it was like the 21st or something. So we're actually coming up on the anniversary for it, and I'm ending it. <laughs> um, oh, well, this video is much longer than I meant it to be. I will be doing other projects. I have other comic projects, as I said before. I'm going to do an entire video about my plans. And I am, as I said, I have rewritten an entire outline for Nine Lives. I will be coming back to it eventually. It's just gonna take a very long time because of how much there is to work on. Um, and before we close out, I'd like to say that the actual official new version of Nine Lives is going to be about three seasons long. And it is going to be much shorter. Um, I have uh, three main arcs for the first season with two mini arcs happening between them. Um, and I believe each mini arc is going to take about one chapter, whereas each of the bigger arcs are going to take about three chapters. Three to four, I think. Um, maybe five uh, for one of them. I think the, probably the introductory chapter is probably going to be the longest one, being probably about five chapters. Um, and the introductory chapter is probably going to be the probably going to be the only um, one that is like an extra one in the beginning, and it doesn't actually tie into a main one. It's probably going to be maybe. It actually, I think I'm probably going to just do one chapter for the introductory chapter. Um, it'll end with them all meeting together, and then the main arc will start after that. And so that'll probably be about one to two chapters, and then the um so that'll be one to two chapters for that one the mini arcs are each one chapter that is a total of four already and then the nine chapters for each of the arcs that is uh, that is 13 pa that is 13 chapters and i would like to keep them down to about 100 and, and uh, not 100 <laughs> to to 10 to 20 pages each for each chapter um, maybe a little bit of overlap for some of the longer ones towards, I think, there is a pretty long one in season two. Um, so, for season one, that is a current estimation of, if we're gonna average out of 15, of 
gonna do math. <laughs> that is. That is about 195 pages for season one. Now let's compare that to what I have already done for season one of the current Nine Lives. 321, 324 pages. That is literally about half the length of season one of Nine Lives. Because I'm not even finished with it. And there was probably about at least 100 more pages that I needed to draw. Um, because there were 113 scenes. I was only on 61. So, this is going to be a lot more manageable for me, and I would like to do maybe like a chapter a month thing with this one, as I am planning for a couple other ones, maybe splitting them up to like maybe five chapters or four chapters a week, depending on how I feel and how I've worked up to at that point. However, doing the very scattered amount of like maybe five this week, two next week, ten this day, it's so much work and so much like variation that it's just terrible for my workload. And I do cite that as one of the reasons why I burned out so easily on Nine Lives was because my workload was very variant on what I had written for that scene. And it was just up and down and up and down and it was not consistent and it made me panic. Um, like some weeks I'll be very oh, like, oh, I can finish this one. It'll I just like work a little bit in this day. And then like other weeks be like, I need to work for like five hours each day to finish this and finish these pages because there'd be so much on my plate. There's one point where there's 12 pages in an entire scene. Um, and I had to do all of them in a week. I think I carried over like two days to the next week. But I did all of that in seven days, which is a lot of work. Um, considering that I was going to school at the time, and, um, I have other hobbies, and that's the reason why I haven't done any of them. Um, I'm just working on this comic, and I'm hoping that if I lighten my workload and do easier comics, it will be a lot better for my mental health, and for my wrist health as well. So, 195 pages for season one, as an estimate, and so about, like, 200 pages each season, that's about 300, that's about 600 pages. And that would be enough for each season could be one volume. And I think I like that a lot better than what I have done now, where um, each season was like four to five volumes, each being about 100 pages. Some longer. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I will hopefully try to get back on the Nine Lives in the next few years. However, I am about to go to college soon, and I'd like to do some other projects during college. And of course, um, I have a lot of gripes with my own art style and what I've been doing with my art, and I kind of want to do it. So I'll see you all when I do that. Bye.